Good afternoon, third grade. Today, lesson five, we are going to classify quadrilaterals. As always, before we get started, let's take a look at our essential question. How can you use sides and angles to help you describe quadrilaterals? Our vocabulary for today will be trapezoid, rectangle, square, and rhombus. A trapezoid is a weird looking shape. It has four sides and it has one pair of opposite parallel sides. Sometimes these lengths could be the same. So if we take a look, first of all, that is not a trapezoid, but this is. And it has a, it's a weird shape and see this top and this bottom, they are parallel. Now, a rectangle has four sides and four angles. It also has two pairs of opposite parallel sides and two pairs of sides that are the same length. As always with a rectangle, it has four right angles. So here are my four right angles. One, three, and four. And here are my opposite parallel sides. Top and bottom, and my left and my right. A rectangle has four sides and four angles. All four sides are the same. There are four right angles, and this shape, just like a rectangle, has two pairs of opposite parallel sides. Now, my picture is a very ugly looking square, but it has right angles. It has four of the same sides and it has two pairs of opposite parallel sides. Now, a rhombus has four sides and four angles. All four sides are the same, and it has two pairs of opposite parallel sides. Someone didn't get the message to put a rhombus on this slide. This is also not a rhombus. Someone's playing a joke on me. This is what a rhombus should look like, kind of like a square turned to the side. For the sake of time, we're going to go over one and two very quickly because we already talked about this. Number one, how many pairs of opposite parallel sides does it have? So I know that this side and this side are parallel, so that's one. The bottom and the top are also parallel, so that's two. So this shape has two pairs of parallel sides. Now, each pair of those sides were the same length. Now, since we don't know if all four sides are the same, I wonder what shape this will be. I can see that we have right angles. And if all four sides are not the same, then this leads me to believe that this is going to be a rectangle. For 4, 5, and 6, we're going to also do this together. You're going to work with me as I do it for you. For number 4, we got to circle all the words that describe this. First of all, I can, I'm going to get rid of things that are definitely wrong. And the first one is going to be a trapezoid. That is definitely not a trapezoid. Okay? And I also know that it's not a rhombus either. So, that leads me to believe that all four sides do look the same. So, I'm going to say that's a square. For number five, I know it's not a rectangle because I do not see any uh, right angles. I also know it's not a square. It does have four sides, so it's a quadrilateral. And to me, that kind of looks like a rhombus. Number six, I don't see any right angles, so we're going to get rid of rectangle. All four sides are not the same, so it's not a rhombus. It does have four sides, that's a quadrilateral, and kind of looks to me like it's a trapezoid. Right now, you're going to do seven, eight, and nine. So you're going to pause the video, complete your answers, and then unpause and check when you are ready. Okay, number seven, we have A. 
quadrilateral. Number eight, we have a trapezoid because of these parallel lines. That was a really tough one. It really made me think a lot. Number nine could be a quadrilateral, could be a square. It could also be a rectangle because we don't know the exact lengths of the sides. And this quite, could quite possibly be a rhombus. So there, there are three tough questions right there. Now, for this one, this question was taken from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Now, we're going to identify the quadrilateral that can have two pairs of parallel sides and no right angles. I'm going to give you a hint. No right angles. No right angles. So first things first. What shapes in A, B, and C have right angles? Because we do not want them. I know a square has right angles. Get rid of it. I know a rectangle has right angles. Get rhythm. rid of it. What are we left with? Rhombus. So here is our answer, a rhombus. To review what we learned today about quadrilaterals, we have a square. We have four sides that are the same, two pairs of opposite parallel sides, and we have four right angles. We have a rectangle, four right angles, two pairs of opposite parallel sides, and two pairs of sides that are the same. We have a trapezoid, one pair of parallel lines, and we have a rhombus. Kind of looks like a square that's tilted, but we have no right angles for a rhombus. As always, when you make it to this point, you have entered the best part of the lesson. That is the end of this lesson. So get your name on it, make sure everything's organized, and bring it back tomorrow.